Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memorial of Saint Padre Pio of Pietrelcina. We pray in this Mass that we may become like him, that we may live in holiness and in service. Let us now beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who by a singular grace gave the priest St. Pius a share in the cross of your Son, and by means of his ministry, renew the wonders of your mercy. Grant that through his intercession, we may be united constantly to the sufferings of Christ, and so brought happily to the glory of the resurrection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. There is an appointed time for everything, and a time for everything under the heavens. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to uproot the plant. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to tear down, 
and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to be far from embraces, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to cast away, a time to rend and a time to sow, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time of war and a time of peace. What advantage has the worker from his toil? I have considered the task that God has appointed for the sons of men to be busied about. He has made everything appropriate to its time and has put the timeless into their hearts without man's ever discovering from beginning to end the work which God has done. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, my mercy and my fortress, my stronghold, my deliverer, my shield, in whom I trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Lord, what is man that you notice him? the son of man, that you take thought of him. Man is like a breath, his days like a passing shadow. Blessed be the Lord, my rock. Please stand. The Son of Man came to serve and to give us life as a ransom for many. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, we heard in our first reading today <clears throat> what is probably the most famous section of the book of Ecclesiastes. It tells us that there is an appointed time for everything. There is a right time for everything. May tamang oras 
para sa lahat ng bagay. And it is God Himself who has appointed everything according to its proper time. Kung tayo'y gumagawa ng schedule para sa ating mga buhay, ang Diyos ang siyang nagtakda ng lahat ng bagay sa tamang oras. As the book of Ecclesiastes tells us, God has made everything appropriate to its time. May tamang oras sa lahat ng bagay. And even the Son of God, Jesus, was subject to time. When Jesus became man, He entered our human time. And in our gospel today, Jesus, after revealing Himself to His disciples that He is the Son of God, that He is the Christ, He told them that the time will come when He will have to suffer, when He will be crucified, and He will die. And He said, but on the third day, He will rise again. These things will happen according to the right time appointed by God. And so today, my dear brothers and sisters, we could ask ourselves, do we use our time well? Or do we just waste our time? What are we doing with the limited time that we have? Are we simply wasting our time by doing unnecessary things? Or are we using our time appropriately according to what God wants us to do at the right time? Sana hindi lamang tayo nag-aaksaya ng panahon kasi ang panahon na uubos. Sana ginagamit natin ng mabuti ang bawat panahon. Ginagawa natin ang tama sa tamang panahon. Upang ang ating buhay ay nakaayon sa panahon na inilalaan sa atin ng Panginoon. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of Padre Pio, one of the famous saints of our contemporary times. And he is an example of a person who spent his time very well. He spent his time for God in prayer and in contemplation. Palagi siyang nagnanalangin, inilalaan niya ang kanyang oras para sa Diyos. But he also spent his time very well by serving others, by hearing confessions several hours a day, by offering sacrifices for the conversion of sinners. Because by serving the people, Padre Pio wants us to also spend our time for God and for the love of our neighbors. And because he spent his time on earth very well, now he spends his eternity in heaven. My dear brothers and sisters, there is an appointed time for everything. And so let us use our time well. Do not waste your time. Use your time 
in such a way that when your time on earth ends, you are assured that you will spend eternity in heaven. Please stand. It is our faith in Jesus, the Son of God, which unites us members of His community. In His name, let us bring our intentions before the Father, and for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may keep the Church in the faith of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that our elected officials may respect the right to life of the unborn, the aged, and the helpless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That consecrated priests and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God and to the people they are called to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened and persevering in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may enjoy a new life in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. We pray for the people who requested our prayers. And we pray for all the intentions offered in this Mass. God of mercy and compassion through the merits of our Savior, hear the prayers of your church, confessing with Peter our faith in Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We humbly implore your majesty, Almighty God, that just as the offerings made in honor of blessed Padre Pio bear witness to the glory of divine power, so they may impart to us the effects of your salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Padre Pio, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, Saint Padre Pio, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father in the words Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May the mysteries you have received, O Lord, prepare us, we pray, for the eternal joys that as a faithful steward, blessed Padre Pio came to deserve through Christ our Lord. Amen. We wish to inform you that on Monday, the 26th of September, we shall not have our regular Masses at 7.30 in the morning and 12.10 in the afternoon 
to give way to the conference entitled Celebrating Asia in Manila, which will be held here at the Manila Cathedral. For those who wish to participate in this conference, you may check our Facebook page for the details. Kaya po paalala na wala po tayong misa sa lunes ng 7.30 at ng 12.10 ng tanghali. The intentions that you have already offered for these Masses on Monday will be used, will be included in the Mass that will be celebrated within that conference at 9 o'clock in the morning to be presided by our Archbishop Cardinal Jose Advincula. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.